Well, good evening. evening. It is so good to see all of you. Welcome, welcome. This is a joy for me to see so many folks here this evening to celebrate our Christmas Eve service, lessons and carols and Eucharist. When it comes time for Eucharist, everyone is welcome at this table. So please, please know you have an open invitation to meet Christ at his table. We have, for the last four Sundays, three weeks and one day, uh, been on a journey, a journey of light. And tonight, Christ our light comes. Our darkness is dispelled. Our hearts should be bright and shining, just as the stars did on that first Christmas night. And so we light our middle candle, the Christ candle. And if Kent, if you want to do that. And then we're going to light each of your candles as we do our opening and our our hymn of O Come Let Us Adore Him. So we'll do that by candlelight. And then we'll we'll put the candles out and you can enjoy all the lessons. We've got seven scripture lessons tonight. And uh, we'll go from there, okay? So... So glad you're here uh, to worship with us, welcome. And for all those folks watching from uh, online, so glad you've tuned in as well. So let's get started. You'll turn to page three in your service program. Most merciful and loving God, you have made this night. Grant that we, your people, may enter with joy into the celebration of this night and may also rejoice forever as your adopted sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand.
continue with the blessing of the creche on page three. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, you sent your only begotten Son to take our human nature upon him and to be born this night of a pure virgin. Bless, we pray, this creche, that it may be a sign of his humble birth, and grant that we who joyfully behold his appearing may be strengthened to greet him when he comes again in glory. Even the same Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. bidding prayer, which is on page four. And you can extinguish your candles now, if you would, please. Beloved in Christ, in this holy season, let it be our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem to see the babe lying in a manger. Let us the loving purposes of God from the first days of our dis. Forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. 
But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world. For peace and goodwill over all the earth. For the mission and unity of the church for which he died, and especially within this country and within this city. Let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick, the addicted, the incarcerated, and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who know not the Lord Jesus or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother and all those who rejoice with us but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh and whom in this Lord Jesus we are evermore we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Yeah. 
will be open and you will be like God knowing good and evil so when the woman saw that the tree was for good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise she took of its fruit and ate and she also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? tree and I ate then the Lord God said to the woman what is this that you have done the woman said the serpent tricked me and I ate the Lord God said to the serpent because you have done this cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Rub up thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. And in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. And fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. The mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch around. stars together proclaim the holy birth and pray 
second lesson is from, uh, from, is from Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is pardoned, for she had received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voices cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out, and I said, What shall I cry? All the people are grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion that brings good tidings, go up onto the high mountain. O Jerusalem that brings good tidings, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up, be not afraid. Say until the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with their young. Thank you.
nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us from all the Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, As Sheol, or high as heaven, the dust. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Good Christmas. 
from the book of Luke. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, no, he is to be called John. They said to her, none of your relatives have this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give them. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbors, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed, the hand of the Lord was with him. Then his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably upon his people and redeemed them. He raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant. The oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. Bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is not awake and hearken, for he brings the tidings of the King of Kings. And the ever is well seen, he straight the way for God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. Thou art our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. 
Without thy grace we waste away like flowers that wither and decay. Leave the sick fools traveling and hear the fallen sinners stand. Shine forth and let the light restore earth's own true loveliness once more. The fifth lesson is from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem. Because he was descended from the house and and family of David, he went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her first newborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with this angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them.
Thank you, sweetheart. The sixth lesson is from Hebrews. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being, and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made pure. much superior to the angels, as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which the angels did God ever say, you are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. Of the angel, he says, he makes his angels wings and his servants flames of fire. But of the sun, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever, and your righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And in the beginning, Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. They will all wear out like clothing. Like a cloak, you will roll them up, and like clothing, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never end. Yeah.
Our seventh lesson is from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses, Grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known.
Please stay seated for a moment. I want to offer a very sincere and deep apology. Uh, traditional lessons and carols includes nine lessons and nine carols. And over the years, as we've become an impatient society, the number keeps getting reduced. And I only plan for seven. I wish I'd have planned nine because it's been so moving and striking. And I hope you feel the same way. And is this microphone on or not? Yes. All right, okay. So I've had it on the whole time. And I don't have a sermon tonight, that's my gift to you. <laughs> but here's what I want you to do. few minutes of peace and quiet and things are calm reflect on some of the things you've heard tonight I know there had to be a line or a phrase or a, a, a tune uh, a lyric of one of the songs that touched your spirit and I hope you'll take a few minutes just to reflect on that and how it moved you and what God is speaking to you so that is my prayer, my wish, my sermon for you, that, that to be born this night of a pure virgin, grant that we who have been born Bruce, God's peace. Yes. God's peace. God's peace. God's peace. Edie, God's peace. Sheila. Jude.